हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द टाइप ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द बेस एड्रेस यूज एंड इन दिस केस वी वी विल यूज थ्री फोर टाइप्स ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शन वन इज थ्री एड्रेस इंस्ट्रक्शन सेकेंड टू एड्रेस इंस्ट्रक्शन वन एड्रेस इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड जीरो एड्रेस इंस्ट्रक्शन सो लेट सी दैट हाउ दे आर इंटरप्रिटेड इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन so let's uh, take an example of x is equal to a plus b into c plus d so and uh, so we have uh, four operands in this case so a b c and d and uh, x is my location where the result must be stored so when the three uh, three address instruction is there so my um, three address instruction is uh, shown as a uh, opcode destination and source so in this case uh, we what will i do i will just uh, um, at the two two of the numbers i will i have i will have to use a three address locations basically one is for the operation code which is r at r1 and uh, a and b is the are the two another address so r1 a and b three are addresses are used here okay so some data is at the a some um, data is at b and uh, some uh, and the result must be stored at r1 so that is like that so memory m of a means memory of a and a memory of b and the data will be added and stored in the r1 register similarly c and d will be added and the data will be stored in r2 register so when i will multiply i have to multiply the um, both the results so then uh, what i will have to do i just have to multiply these r1 and r2 and then uh, store the result in x register so these are three address instructions which are can be used for to uh, evaluate any kind of the uh, uh, algorithm or any kind of the logical function so results in short programs and, uh, and the um, benefit of this type of the instruction is that the only uh, short uh, program is used and many in many kind of the work can be uh, can be executed in a single line okay next is two address instruction so this is the uh two address instruction uh, you can say two address instruction example the a the a is stored in b a sorry the a is stored in r1 then the uh, whatever in r1 is added with the b then similarly r2 is used r the uh, data is moved in r r2 then whatever in r2 register is added with d now multiplication of r1 and r2 where the result will be stored in r1 and uh, this r1 is then uh, mm, you can say uh, then uh, transfer to the x location memory x location okay so whenever m and bracket and uh, something is uh, written in it then it is from memory location now let's see the one address instruction in the one address instruction what you have to do you have to just uh, Uh, add two to uh, add the operations and uh, you, it it will use only single address here it will be used here only single address so load of a a will be stored uh, at accumulator so accumulator is uh, filled with memory of a and then add b so whatever in the accumulator is added whatever in the b location to the accumulator and the result is stored in accumulator now store t store t says that whatever in the t location uh, uh, is transferred to the accumulator so whatever my uh, whatever my result is in a accumulator is stored at memory t so whatever in is at the right left side left side of this notation is my destination and and uh, in the right side of the of this uh, uh, notation is my source okay so now i am uh, using the load c so uh, mem from memory location i will uh, store the uh, whatever the content in the c to the accumulator then i will add the d to the accumulator then multiply both the because already the accumulator has the sum function then Uh, and empty has the um, uh, addition of uh, a and b then this will be multiplied by the accumulator and I, my result will be stored in the accumulator so next uh, i will have to store my result in the x location so this is how uh, we can we are using only one address instruction 
in zero address instruction i will use the stack pointer and stack stack is used for lifo last in first out so now there is x equal to a plus b into c plus d so uh, tos means top of stack okay so push a so whatever is at a location is uh, is stored in stack top position okay top of the stack a is will a will be pushed then a b will be pushed then addition of uh, a and b will be there and then uh, we will use the c so in this case we will use uh, uh, stack basically then we are using the uh, push c uh, so the content of the c will be pushed in the register uh, in the stack register and then uh, d will be pushed and then addition will be there then multiplication of the both of the addition will be there and then the result will be stored in the x position of the uh, memory so uh, for that uh, stack uh, stack related issues we have to use the uh, reverse policy notation in which case we have if a plus b then what i have to do i will have to in a prefix location where i will start from right to left and uh, in a uh, postfix notation i will have to reverse polish notation i have to uh, uh, traverse in this uh, in this uh, arithmetic in this uh, arithmetic or logical operation from left to right so a plus b if there then in fix prefix so pre this is a in fix notation so if it is plus ab then it is a prefix or polish notation if it is ab plus then it is a postfix or reverse polish notation so any kind of the notation can be maybe asked in by with you with the, in the uh, exam so i will suggest you that you should understand this polish notation notation then uh, ab star will be there and so if it is is it is my example if a b c d is there then what i have to do a and b and then multiply of these two things then c and d then multiply of these thing two things and then at last i can add these two multiplications so a b multiply c d multiply and then add both the notations so this is an example so for example 3 into 4 plus 5 into 6 then it will be 3 4 f multiplied by 5 6 multiplied and then addition of these two multiplication which will be 42 so what for that what i have to do i have to push 3 then i have to push 4 then i have to multiply so if i will multiply then the uh, um, result of a 4 multiplied by 3 will be push in the, into the push on the on the top of the stack and then i have to push 5 and 6 and then multiply then multiply will be will provide uh, addition of multiplication of uh, these two 5 and 6 now again plus is there then when this will be called then these two things will be, will be added and the result will be stored at the top of the stack so that's how we will work with the uh, problems and uh, further i will discuss with you that how the example how the examples can be stored in a uh, can be evaluated using this postfix notation so thank you for this lecture next i will uh, show you this ex this example and i will also provide you this example so that you can do it with your practice and uh, i will suggest you students that you should uh, start uh, the uh, you should uh, work with your uh, copy and pen and uh, try to do your it yourself thank you